All right, I wanted to show you guys something real quick that may be able to help you when you guys are designing your stuff. So I painted these brown. We're going to take them back down, but it was helping Chris out because we're doing this a little bit fancy. So we've got these posts here. There's one, two, three. And what we're doing is to make it a little bit stronger and more secure, we're going to be attaching the railing inside these posts as if it would like lock in here and then the railing would be um, going down the middle right there. But as you can see, this one has two openings because this is in the middle and this one has this right here and then it's open right here to go that way. But when you're doing it, it can get kind of confusing. So what we do real quick is we draw it out. So as you can see, this is the first one right here. And you can see that there's railing going to the second one. And then you're going to need two open spots. And then over here is a corner piece. So you need the two open spots there and so on. But um, this way, we don't have to go back and go, oh shoot, I put that one on the wrong side, or let's just go ahead and put that one over there. Um, so it just helps us out, and uh, I don't know, hopefully that's a good tip and it helps you guys out when you're doing it. But I'm super excited to paint these and crackle them and see what they turn out like. Okay. Well, we just test fit the top section right there of our porch, and it fits pretty good, so... We just sunk it into those sides. Oh, I don't want to do the other side because the sun's in the way, but yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And now Chris is doing this part for the bottom railing. And I am still crackling, but I'm doing these guys. So you saw me paint these brown, and now the posts are all crackled. Um, I think I have four of these done. So I have got six left to do. Chris is sanding some bat wings. Yeah, I wish we had a CNC machine because... Oh my uh, gosh. Not all the carpentry parts are fun. Those are pretty good though. Yeah. I just gonna... used a, a jigsaw. And the thing is, is we... We uh, chose to use like cedar fence boards yeah. because the wood's so soft, it's easier for the jigsaw blade to cut through. And there's a stack of them right there. I think there's 20 total. Yep. You ready to paint them? Heck yes. Do this. <laughs> so Chris did a mock-up so I know which ones go where of putting the posts and the railing together because I was starting to do the crackle paint on these ones and I go are you gonna see the back aren't you so I didn't know which parts to do but it turns out that I think you are gonna see it so I'm just gonna have to crackle everything which is okay just more work but um, we got some broken pieces some missing pieces there should be one right there but trying to make it you know dilapidated abandoned but over here there's the railing i've got to paint it obviously but chris also started to work a little bit on getting the windows going he added that ledge piece right there that's about it for today. We did a Home Depot run and I've been painting. And then uh, Chris finished all the railings. And I've just got my little paint set up right here. And uh, probably two more days of painting all this railing and stuff. And then I can move on and hopefully we'll be able to start doing the siding. On um, See the front door should be right here and this is the side but maybe we'll get to put some some siding on and trim out the windows because that would be fun to see what all the crackle paint looks like next to each other once we split it up and put it on there so here's the update for today a lot is getting done i am done painting all of the brown railing 
and the top part. So now I just have to crackle it, which is good because I'm moving along. Um, Chris is starting to put trim in the windows. You can see the bendy board he put up in those two and then the lip he put in those two. And then over here, we're starting to put up all the trim and really cool because this he built for me so it just slides out so I can paint and then uh, put it back in there. Of course I can't do it and film at the same time but um, you get the idea. So he's just going to put some trim up there and yeah, things are moving along quickly today. I feel like we're getting a lot done. It is really hot today. Um, and when you're in the sun, it's just cooking my head and I feel bad for Chris because there's no shade right here So he's in and out in and out But we're still getting a lot done. So that's good So this window I just went and painted and put the crackle on So that's done but To get it to this point I thought I'd show you guys What I've been doing so I went to start painting, as you can see right there, and then I was like, oh no, I gotta fill all the nail holes. So I'm just taking some drywall mud, putting it on my finger, just getting in there. Whoa, sorry. All right, there we go. <laughs> getting some mud, putting it on my finger, just going over. Getting all the holes, you know, nothing too fancy because it's not, it doesn't have to be perfect. But that's all I'm doing. And then after that, let it dry for a second, paint it brown. I can crackle it. Things are moving right along. Chris did a really good job putting up the siding today and I'm still painting and crackling of course. I'll probably still be doing that for a while but I just want to show you guys we made this spot right here. And what we're gonna do is just paint that part black and then uh, it'll look like a hole in the wall. Oh my gosh! Hell is freezing over as I film. Whoa! Are you painting, Chris? Yeah, because it's too late to be making noise. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe my eyes. I'm painting the black hole. Y you guys are a witness to this. Is it our anniversary? <laughs> is it my birthday? <laughs> no. But we haven't had dinner yet, so. Oh. I'll get right on it. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!